I smell you hobbits as you come back to Pocket Runny. Okay, in this lesson you're going to be given a line on a graph and then you have to come up with the equation for that line. This is called the slope intercept formula. That's the equation. So the general equation for a line is y equals mx plus b. That's without any numbers in there. This is called the slope intercept formula. The slope intercept formula is when y is on one side and everything else is on the other side. Okay? So, what do these letters represent? M represents the slope of the line. Every line has a slope. Well, except for a vertical line. And we can discuss that later. Okay, um, so the M represents slope. And the slope of a line is rise over run. On your X and Y axis, your Y is your rising and your X's are your runs. You run before you rise. That's, that I believe you should do your runs before you do your rise, but you can do it in any order. As long as you can remember, Y is your rise up and down. You rise up and down. You run along the ground, okay? So rise over run is your Y's over your X's. The B represents what is called the Y intercept. Y intercept. Intercept is when you catch something, when you cross something. So Y intercept is where it crosses the Y axis. So your line where it crosses the y-axis, that's the y-intercept, where it intercepts the y-axis. So if you're on the y-axis, your x-coordinate would be zero. Your y can be any value. It could be a positive value or it could be a negative value. The main thing to remember, your x-coordinate is zero along the y-axis. So B represents your y-intercept. All right, so let's look at, we're on 7B. And let's look at problem number eight. The first thing that they're asking is, is this a positive or negative slope? Well, what I like to do is always on the very leftmost of your line, this is the leftmost part of your line, you draw you a little man. Here's your little man standing there. Is your man skiing down the slope or is he climbing up the slope? In this case, he is skiing down. So when you are skiing down and going down, that is a negative slope. So right there, that is a negative slope. Now, how do we find the slope? Remember, M represents slope. And slope is rise over run. So they give you two points. So with your two points, you draw a right triangle. You start at this point, and then you draw a triangle to the other point. So you have a triangle, a right triangle. So now you can count your rise. Remember your rise is your y's. What is important is you start at one point and travel to the other point. So I'm gonna start at this point right here and then I'm going to travel down. And then once I travel down, when I get to here, I'm gonna take a right and go that way. It's important to start at one point and travel to the other point. That's really important in order to get your signs right. When you're traveling down, that is negative. If you travel up, that is positive. When you travel to the right, because when on up and down, if you go up on the y-axis, it's positive. If you go down, it's negative. So when you travel down, it's negative. If you travel up, it's positive. With the x and, on the x-axis, when you travel to the right, you go to positive numbers. When you're going to the left, it's negative. So same here. If you're traveling to the right, it's positive numbers. When you travel to the left, it's negative. So if I start at this point and I count my lines, start at this point and I count my lines going one, two. I went down two, so that means this is a negative two. I'm gonna write negative two. That was my rise. My run, starting here, I'm taking a right and I'm gonna run over to the right, which I'm going in the positive direction, counting my lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I went over six. So now I can say here that M is rise over run, and my rise is negative two, 
and my run was 6. Always reduce fractions. We said our slope is negative. Negative. So therefore this number, we should have a negative slope. Reducing to 6, that reduces to negative 1 third. So my slope for this line is a negative 1 third. Let's look at number 9. Alright, so drawing our little man over here to the very far left of the line, your little man always goes to the very far left. Is my man skiing down or climbing up? He is climbing up this hill. He's going up. Up is positive, so therefore this slope is positive. Now we need to determine the slope. M represents slope. Remember slope is rise over run. So I need to figure out what my y's over my x's is. Go to the points that they give you. Draw a triangle with those to connect those points. A right triangle. Okay, my lines aren't very good because my table is not smooth, but it's okay. So there's my triangle. I'm going to start at this point and travel this direction. That's my arrow. I'm going to travel this direction and then go up. It's very important start at one point and travel to the other point. Don't start here and go here and then start at this point and come down. Your signs will all be wrong. Start at this point, keep traveling, traveling, now go up to the next point. Start at one point and end at the other. So if I start here, I'm going to the right, which that means I'm going in the positive direction. Right is the positive direction. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I just traveled eight, so I'm going to write an eight there. That's my run. Run is going this way, along parallel to my x-axis. Now I'm going to go up. Rise is up and down. I'm going up, so that's positive. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slope is rise over run. My rise is my up and down, so that's my six. So that goes in the numerator for rise. My eight is the run going this way, so that goes in the denominator with run. We do have a positive number. We said we had a positive slope. This will come out to be a positive number, so that matches. And then you reduce your fraction. Six over eight reduces to three fourths. So three fourths is your slope. All right. We're on page 7E now, and we're going to look at this graph right here. So if you drew your little man right here, you can see your little man's going to be climbing up the hill. So we are dealing with a positive slope. So when we determine what the slope is, this should be a positive number. So the first thing we need to do is look at what the slope is. You still, you're given two points. You draw a triangle. Okay, and then you travel from one point to the other point. I'm going to travel from this one and go this way and go up. So if I start here, I'm going toward the right, so that's positive. So that's one, two, three. So that's a, my run is three. I ran over three. Going up, that's positive. One, two, three. So I went up three. I rise three. So now slope is rise over run. So my rise is three. My run is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So your slope is 1. Okay, now they're asking for B. B is your y-intercept. Where does it cross the y-axis? This line crosses the y-axis right there. So here's the origin. We are at negative 1. So it crosses the y-axis at negative 1. The x-coordinate there is 0. That point there is 0, negative 1. But we just write, when we say B equals, we just write negative 1. Now they're wanting you to write the equation in slope-intercept form. Remember, the general equation of a line is Y equals MX plus B. We know M and we know B, so now we put in those numbers for M and B to write the equation. So Y equals 1 is the slope, X, and then minus 1. Since our y-intercept is negative, it's a minus 1. You do not have to write this 1 there. You can write y equals x minus 1. That is the equation for this line. Alright, let's look at number 9 and 10. Okay, so if I drew my little man up here at the very far left, you can see he's skiing down the hill. So we should come up with a negative slope. I'm given two points, so I'm going to draw my triangle 
there's my triangle. You can travel from starting at one point to whatever, whichever point. It doesn't matter which point you start at. Just pick one and travel to the other. I'm going to start at this point. Actually, tell you what, I'm going to start at this point and I'm going to travel to the left and then I'm going to travel up. So if I start at this point and travel to the left, if you travel to the left, that's in the negative direction. So I go negative one over. So my, right, my run is negative one. Starting here, I'm going up. Up is in the positive direction. I went one, one, two, three. So I went up, positive three. So my rise is three. My run is negative one. Slope is rise over run. Make sure you do your rise number first. Slope is rise over run. Okay? A positive divided by a negative is a negative. And 3 divided by 1 is just 3. So my slope is negative 3. Now, B represents your y-intercept. Where does it cross the y-axis? Where does your line cross the y-axis? Right there. Where are we? What is our coordinate right there? I don't go anywhere in the x direction, so it's 0. And then I went down 1, 2 from the origin. So that is negative 2. So it crosses the y-axis at negative two. Now we want to be able to write the equation. Okay, this is your slope. That is your slope. That is your y. This is your slope. This is your y-intercept. Remember the general form of the equation is y equals mx plus b. We just now say y equals, put in our number for m, put in our number for b. So y equals negative 3x minus 2. This is the equation for this line.